Climate change is happening now, and the effects are being felt worldwide. But whether people have information to help them understand it depends on where they live. People in Nepal, they know very little about climate change. And uh, those who are already experiencing climate change, they don't know it's climate change. So awareness is, is really lacking for that. Journalists have a vital role in telling people about climate change, but only if they have the right skills and knowledge. There are so many reporters in Malawi who do not know what climate change is all about, and they go on to report the issue, which means they, there are chances that they can misinform the people. So it needs someone who has the knowledge to dilute the message to get down to the people so that they can understand what is climate change and what they can do about it. The Climate Change Media Partnership exists to help journalists in developing countries improve their reporting on climate change. Every year we award 40 fellowships to journalists from Africa, Asia, the Caribbean and Latin America. We provide intensive support so that they can cover science and policy issues with confidence. And we sponsor them to report from the UN Climate Change Summit. Certainly for me there have been a lot, of, a lot of stories to really send back to Jamaica to help bring people up to speed on some of the issues to do with climate change and then I, as well as some of the politics that has been involved in slowing the process. Uh, working at the summit it's uh, like hands on. You are taught and then you go right, right, right away to write the stories on what we've been taught. This is actually a good experience. We also encourage them to speak to those at the sharp end of climate change about their experiences. It was really great for me. I learned a lot. And then the other thing was when we went to the beach. That beach visit was also very important because I got to interact with these fishermen. It gave me an insight that as the media we still have to do um, quite a lot to especially educate these uh, people about what is happening to them in, in terms of climate change. And we open doors for them to meet and make connections with experts and policymakers. I'm so great that I found my minister and I got to interview uh, pe uh, people, delegates from my country. So tiring, but uh, it's uh, very fulfilling. Our fellows are making an impact in their home countries. Navin Katka raised questions about delays in implementing Nepal's climate change strategy, which led to calls for a complete overhaul of the system. So Khun Kat from Cambodia was invited to make his radio station's first series of programmes on climate change. Petri Williams from Jamaica became the first ever environment editor at her newspaper and published a special climate change supplement. But the impact could be greater if more journalists had support. Personally, I've learned a lot, a lot but we are only two of us from Uganda. So how can we two journalists effect change in a population of 30 million people with, the diver with the divergent opinions. As climate change accelerates, the Climate Change Media Partnership aims to ensure even more journalists are equipped to provide crucial information so that people know why their environment is changing and can demand action in their countries.